Bible projects that we've done in the past, that, or that I've seen in the past, women are oftentimes portrayed, posi- I mean, almost always portrayed positively, mm-hmm. but it's almost, it's, it's, it's so positive, it's uninteresting. Mm-hmm. It's that, you know? or they're prostitutes. Well, yeah, sure, <laughs> you know, sure. it's like one or the other, yeah. and to show like something in between, yeah. I think is more interesting. Can you think of a scene where you thought, this, I really, I really loved preparing for it and, and, and executing it? There are two scenes this season that I felt really good about because I I felt challenged and then also I, I gave up a little bit of control and like trusted my part, my scene partners and felt great about how it turned out. And one was that scene with Shahar and Paris and then the other one is with Jonathan and you're in the room too of, of apologizing to him. Yeah. And that was, that was, special and each take was like a little different I'm like I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know what, like I can't plan for it and and actually like feel the things that that right. he was saying and, and and I'm saying and um, it surprised me it was nice to like feel yeah. like I don't know what's going to happen yeah I couldn't Let's believe see. how many because I mean, we did it you know probably a total of 10 12 times both on you and then yeah. on Jonathan, and, and it seemed like something was happening each time, like which is extraordinary to me. I don't know how you guys do it, but it was it was a really cool. It really is the writing, and then having mm-hmm. amazing scene partners, mm-hmm. like those two things, and a third, which is like knowing you're in the hands of amazing filmmakers. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. if you don't get it this take, they're gonna use something and make it work. Like yeah. there's just there's a, a trust in you guys that well, good, makes yeah. this easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it takes the pressure. Off yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the goal: is to create an environment in which you feel safe to fail, safe yeah. to try things. Yeah. And sometimes we try something and it just doesn't work. And mm-hmm. and you don't know until you try. Yeah. Yeah, you just right. can't. Exactly. It's one thing for Jesus to kind of pursue you like he does mm-hmm. in episode one. Mm-hmm. It's another thing for what happens when you've had this opportunity, you've been redeemed, you've, he's done so much for you, and you screw up again. Mm-hmm. And now you go to him, mm-hmm. and he's waiting you know for for you so there was that piece which we really wanted to capture and show that even today we we experience this mm-hmm. whether it's with each other or with god whatever it is where we've screwed up again and that's almost even worse mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but also uh my co-writer ryan who um is it's not a secret he's he talks about this has been sober 10 years and understands uh, relapse understands the process of having a vice that controlled you for so long, and so he was able to speak into that, of, of course, as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it keeps it keeps Mary Magdalene from being precious for the whole rest of the season. And it's also a little bit more realistic mm-hmm. of like yeah. people relapse all the time, and and you can be redeemed and like I'm done mm-hmm. with this thing, and then get triggered and go right back to it. Yeah. And it's nice to to show like. It doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean you're right back where you were. It's two steps forward, one step back, but you're moving forward and that's the the point. Yeah, and I feel like in in the Bible projects that we've done in the past, that or that I've seen in the past, women are oftentimes portrayed pos- I mean, almost always portrayed positively, mm-hmm. but it's almost it's 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 so positive it's uninteresting. Mm-hmm. It's that you know? or they're prostitutes. Well, yeah, sure, <laughs> you know, sure. it's like one or the other yeah. and to show like something in between yeah. I think is more interesting. But I think when we were watching season 1, I'm happy, I'm, I'm really happy with Mary Magdalene's journey, but there was the potential for her to become boring if she's always sure. just, right. yep. just pleasant, pleasant now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we have plans in the future for, again, Mary being that one who is able to connect with some of the troubled people yeah. that they encounter because she's got that past yeah. and can connect with them. <sighs> I just can't live up to it. Well, that's true. <laughs> but you don't have to. I just want your heart. The Father just wants your heart. Give us that, which you already have. And the rest will come in time. Did you really think that you'd never struggle or sin again? I know how painful that moment was for you. I shouldn't. Someday. But not here. I'm just so sorry. Look up. (laughs) I can't. You can. Look at me. (laughs) I 
forgive you. <laughs> it's over. Thank <laughs> you.